Grab your partner in wine and your glow sticks and head to Market Street for their 18th annual wine walk and weekend free of their fall concert series from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Because why not? I'm at the Chapel Hill Scarecrow Festival with my friend Betty here and I'm about to go inside their old schoolhouse to talk to somebody who knows a little bit more about the history of Chapel Hill. Thanks for speaking with me, Betty. <laughs> Why the Scarecrow Festival? Why why you choose to do this and what does the money go towards? It originally started with the Blue Bonnet Festival that is in April. The money raised could redo that library. Okay. Over the years, we've added the Scarecrow Festival, which is now in October. Um, money goes to the Historical Society. It's all, you know, keeping up the buildings, preserving history. A lot of people from Austin moving in, so... I mean, we're a well-known city. Yes, that's it. That's yes. very good. This is Allison Spotswood reporting to you live from Scarecrow Central. Today on News 4, a stabbing in this home on Bender's Landing Boulevard left three victims and a 24-year-old suspect at large at around 3 p.m. yesterday. The male was arrested at 10 o'clock this morning by a coordinated police response. Currently in holding at Montgomery County Jail, he has been charged with multiple felonies. The victims were conscious on scene, are at local hospitals, and there is no known motive at this time. Move it or lose it, that's what these fighters live by here at Rock Study Boxing Conroe, where individuals with varying conditions, including Parkinson's, work on boxing exercises to improve their strength, balance, and cognitive function. Let's go take a look. I've seen a real sense of community here today, and I wanted to ask you, how do you work to create that environment for your fighters? So one of the things as a part of their workout, we always start with a get to know you question. Um, they can be personal questions, they can just be fun questions. So then it breaks the ice, gets everyone talking. That's great, so you, you encourage them to kind of create their own events even too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Well, actually they kind of take it, take it on themselves. So what inspired you to begin this journey and to continue it? So how this all came about was I was teaching exercise classes across the parking lot at the Recreation Center here. What new events do you have coming up for the members of this organization to be able to be involved in even more? So um, event-wise, we are doing like a fall festival um, next month um, just for them to bring their family and friends to and just have like carnival type games. As fall approaches, the Woodlands Township staff have their residents covered with their new Parks and Trails digital interactive map. With over 130 public parks and 23 dedicated pedestrian trails, the days of sifting through PDF files are over. Users can simply select a location to discover its photos and profile. Options range from playgrounds and courts to lawns for the perfect picnic and even splash pads for the kiddos. There is something for everyone and every occasion. Individuals in need of some fresh air can find the modernized feature online at the woodlandstownship.org parks. Reporting, Allison Spotswood, Channel 4 News.